Hey everybody, Ted Forbes here. Welcome back to another edition of the Art of Photography vlog. Coming at you live, coming at you intense, and coming at you from the severe heat of Dallas, Texas. It is a cool 109 degrees today. Um, I have to apologize right off the bat because I'm having shirt issues. Um, shirt issues in that I don't really wear plaid very much, but um, all the nice clothes I have to wear to work tend to be dark colors, and this kind of was short-sleeved enough, and it looks like I'm in the fourth grade, so I apologize for that right off the bat. Um, anyway, the vlog week has been a lot of fun. Um, I, I'm, I, I was going to say I'm sad to see it come to an end, but you guys seem to be liking this, and uh, as long as I can post every day and manage my schedule and my time and all that stuff, um, I'm kind of happy to keep going. So if you guys are sick of watching me, you probably wouldn't tell me. You probably just unsubscribe. So anyway, um, this has gone very well. I've had a lot of really cool emails, like back and forth discussions, a lot of just comment uh, comment discussions in, under the videos in the channel, on the YouTube, etc. Um, I need to do an episode so we can loop in the people who only follow on iTunes. This is the problem with having media out there is people follow you on one channel and they don't know you and the rest. Um, so anyway, so Vlog Week has been kind of experimental, so we'll call it that. And we'll do an episode that kind of bridges the two together at some point. Um, so anyway, um, a couple points I wanted to make. Uh, I wanted to make a clarification because I did get an email from a guy that I've emailed back and forth with before. Mr. Calvin down in Australia. And Calvin's a good guy, and he had emailed me, and he, anyway, the gist of the discussion was I didn't understand that you were anti-equipment or anti-gear. And I wanna clarify where this is. You guys, you've seen me showing cameras, the mythical camera closet that doesn't exist, um, but I have other means to store lots of things that I collect. Um, I am not anti-gear, and I'm not anti-camera. Um, I have gear problems just like everybody else. I have way too much of it here. Uh, and I, I, I'll, I'll confess, my biggest problem is when it, it doesn't matter whether I'm going out of town on a trip or it doesn't matter like a vacation or, or maybe I'm just going out to hang out with some friends one night and I know there's going to be some photography time involved. I will haul more crap than I can deal with. I don't even shoot on half of it. I'm really bad at that. I've gotten better in recent years. Anyway, I wanted to clarify that because I'm not anti-gear. What I am anti is just sitting here and making YouTube photography videos and never getting any deeper than that. Because photography is so much more than equipment. Sure, there's the equipment that, you know, you have to have a camera to shoot on, that there's, you know, nothing wrong with that. You've got to have something. Um, but the problem that I see, and it, it really is funny, guys, is I've done this podcast since 2008. I've been on YouTube, it's kind of that little long story there, but anyway, uh, the YouTube stuff seems to have taken off lately, which is great. Um, and a lot of people make that comment, um, but photography is deeper than that. And I, I'm trying to say this without insulting other people who have popular channels, and I'm really not trying to do that. Um, but it's interesting because you see, and I saw the same thing, and this is why I started my podcast to begin with, you see a lot of people that get out there and we're gonna have a photography podcast, we're gonna teach you the ways of photography, it's gonna be like school. And then they come out and they just, like it's just gear reviews and cameras and uh, it, nonsense. I mean, you know, there is a technical side of photography. I, I'm not, not saying that there's not, but it, it's deeper than that. And, and I'm not doing a good job of explaining it here, but if you've watched my hundred some odd other videos that I've got on there, you understand that, you know, I get, I, I get way into philosophy. Um, I work in an art museum for my day job. I have a huge passion for creating things and making stuff. And I have a huge passion for following people that create art. Uh, that's why I got into photography. Like if, if, I, if I think about my favorite photographers, um, I'll give you a couple off the top of my head. Hiroshi, Hiroshi Sugimoto, uh, Japanese photographer. Uh, I just think the world of him. He's one of my favorites. I have books. I, I just When I need inspiration, he's one of my go-to guys. Uh, there's a Texas guy that I like a lot. I'd love to meet one day. I've never met him. Keith Carter. Uh, amazing, amazing work. And he shoots a lot of stuff with, you know, messed up tilt shift stuff to throw the focus out. It, but his work's deeper than that. It's just like his subject matter is really good. He goes beyond. Um, you know, I, I'm a real big fan of like past master type photographers like the Edward Steichen and the, the, the Stieglitzes. And the, I mean, even somebody who's living today like Annie Leibovitz uh, influences me. And I love photography. And I look at all those people and Honestly, I mean, I guess at some level, 
you want to know how things were produced. I remember when I got into Tom Burrell's work um, uh, years ago, and like I couldn't get enough. I mean, Tom Burrell, and he's still today one of my favorites. I got to interview him once. Super cool guy, uh, an amazing photographer. He was Robert Maplethorpe's printer. I mean, first of all, you could end your career there. You know? And then he comes out and becomes a very well-known photographer, particularly in the, in the mid to late 90s, doing a lot of pinhole and a lot of collodion and stuff like that. And I remember looking at some of these pinhole images that he was doing still still lifes that were shot on pinhole. And I thought, oh my gosh, I gotta know what the camera is. I gotta, you know, what is he using? What kind of film? What, what kind of developer? What kind, you know, you wanna know all those things. And it's funny because I kinda had this myth going in my head of what Tom Burrell used and how amazing it would be if I could just figure out the Da Vinci code to how to do that, you know? And then I remember reading, or actually it was when I interviewed him and he explained that they were pinhole images that were made on Santa Barbara cameras that he bought that weren't that expensive even. And it was like, hello, Zen slap, you know? Um, all of a sudden I realized that, that there's no mystique, there's no silver bullet, there's no, there's no object you can buy. And you know what? Let's say there was an object you could buy or there was a magic camera. How big of a drag would that be if like all of a sudden you wrote a check and got the camera and then all of a sudden, eh, done. I'm making great images, it's the best, you know. It's, it's, it, I think photography or any kind of art, like I don't care if you're a painter or a sculptor or a photographer or whatever it is, it's that, that moving forward towards something and that's expanding your mind and it, it is intellectual and it's also emotional and it's philosophical and it's trying to get people to think. And anyway, all this to say, I'm going completely emo on you. That's all I mean. And, and I, I don't think I've seen a lot. There are people out there that do it, um, but I, I don't see a lot of very popular things podcast wise or YouTube wise that really go much deeper than a review of the latest Canon 5D Mark 10 or whatever it is, you know. I know it's a Mark III, I'm being facetious, uh, because I'm making a point. It's like, who cares, you know? Um, it's a great camera. If, if you have the money to buy one, and if you have a need for it in your professional or even your hobbyist life, and if your photographer needs that, fine, go get one, they're awesome. Um, if somebody came to me today and said, here's a Mark III, you wanna have it? I'd say, hell yeah, you know? So anyway, all that to say, um, that I just wanted to kind of explain what some of my views on equipment are. Um, and I'm not trying to backtrack at all. Um, I still stand firmly behind my point that, that, that this video and what I'm making here needs to go beyond that. I need to get you excited about photography, I'm, and, and as a result, I get myself excited about photography. And by that, I don't mean getting excited about collecting a lot of gear or a lot of cameras. I've done that in my life. I still do it occasionally. And it, it, it's not really photography. It's something fun to do. There's nothing wrong with it. And, and if you're the kind of person who likes to sit on YouTube and watch camera reviews and stuff, maybe you're shopping for a camera. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. And there's nothing wrong with people who produce that. But it just seems of the you know thousands and thousands of videos on YouTube that somewhere in the mix somebody and and there are people who do it um, need to step up and, and do that and and I feel like that's where I fit in with some of that too. Um, I would love to have a billion viewers and you know a kajillion views and stuff like that, but you know that's not what I'm going for. And because. I think the show hasn't been very big. I've developed relationships with people and gotten to meet folks and become friends with people. And that all is very meaningful. And anyway, all that to say, that that's what I'm going for. So anyway, I'll drop it there. Um, the camera reviews on my archaic equipment here from the uh, you know uh, 1930s and up has been fairly popular and I'm happy to talk about that. And I'll tell you what, I'll cut you a deal. We'll do a camera review if you'll let me speak philosophically a little bit at the same time. We won't make it just a camera review. In fact, I'll be honest, last weekend when I started the vlog, um, I I'm not much of a comedian, but I recorded a camera review by me and it's completely sarcastic and maybe I'll release it I don't know um, it's sitting on the hard drive and, and I get a chuckle when I watch it um, anyway I will show you uh, some stuff from time to time but um, really what I want to do is move beyond that I think things like the blur books I think things like making prints I think uh, you know analyzing your work things like composition those are much more important I'd really like to bring some of those in here and it's weird because you know off the cuff I've come up with some new ideas already which was the whole point of doing the vlog Boy, that was a weird edit. I just jumped right out of the frame. Sometimes when I get uh, intensely excited about things, that happens. Actually, when I stutter and forget what I'm talking about and I have to make an edit in the podcast, that's what happens. Um, anyway, a couple things I want to bring to your attention. Um, I have started, uh, I have not done much of this, and it may be a little slow to start, but 
I've started an email list, an email sign-up list, and you can get there. I will put a link in the show notes below. Um, some of you guys, like, it's like I upload the video and then I have some other things to do and I come back and it's been uploaded for two minutes and like 15 people have checked it out and I've already commented, you forgot to put the links in. I haven't gotten to them yet. Um, be patient, please. Um, I am very thorough, typically. Or I, that's my resolution anyways, to be thorough. Anyway, I will put a link below in the show notes uh, for the mailing list. What I would like to do with the mailing list is a little bit different uh, than just spamming you with stuff. I don't want to do that. Um, what it might be a good place to serve, and I don't know, leave comments if you have any ideas for this. Maybe I could do something that is even more content related. The problem I have with that is all of a sudden I start overextending myself in the content I'm producing. But, uh, you know, um, some of you guys I'm sure are able to check in every day. Some of them are able to check in once a week. And some, of them, some people who watch the show don't even know I have the vlog yet. So anyway, something like a mailing list would be really good to keep people in the loop. Um, I use MailChimp for this, and I am not paid to say that. I am not, um, uh, there's no kickback. Uh, MailChimp is really well designed. They have good startup plans. It's affordable. And I like the fact that they manage the email list, and it, it's not spam. It's not, they don't sell the list. I don't sell the list. I would never do that because I get more spam than anybody, and I hate it. And so, but anyway, I'm trying to think of ways that people can keep up with the show. So if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see in a mailing list that might make it unique or different, or kind of, um, well, I think unique is the key word. It's like, you know, I mean, if you watch all the YouTube videos or you follow the podcast, you know, you probably don't want to see any more of this stuff. Um, who knows? Uh, so anyway, um, we, we're going to do the mailing list, and, and you can subscribe to that at theartofphotography.tv, which is the website for the show, which also is linked below, and I can't remember what the URL is for the mailing list, uh, probably mailing-list, but uh, don't listen to me. Just look, click below, because by the time this goes up, um, I will have that there. Um, anyway, um, photography-related stuff for today, I don't have a whole lot. Uh, it's been a fun week. Um, it's been a blast. I've enjoyed it. Uh, it's been really cool. Like I said, I don't mind doing little camera review things sometimes, but you know, I'll tell you what, I'll cut you a deal. Um, just as long as we splice it with something else. Um, so it's not just gear focused because that, that's not, that's, it's just not for me and it's not what I'm interested in doing. So anyway, it is Friday. You're probably not seeing this until at least Saturday and it has been a long week. Um, I tend to race home from work, record the show. I have to get it on the computer. I have to put the audio together. I have to compress it. I've got to turn that around overnight and then I get up at six in the morning and I upload it. By the time 9.30 rolls around, I'm able to actually start putting stuff in it. And it's been exhausting, but actually it's been pretty easy because when you get into a groove of that, you're just used to it. But it's been fun and I'm totally willing to continue doing these um, in the future. So anyway, uh, like I said, leave comments, send me an email if you've got suggestions on anything you want to see. Uh, I promise to quit doing episodes where I explain myself and ask you what you want to see and start showing you stuff. But uh, since this is vlog week and we're just getting into it, that's kind of where we are right now. So anyway, uh, thanks again for watching. This has been the Art of Photography Vlog Edition and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>